So <clears throat> I got this little baby home and uh, I'm absolutely delighted with the condition of it. Um, it has seen very little work in its 56 years of life. I uh, put in the number plate into the, um, the database to see if it came up and it did indeed. And it was first registered in 1965. And um, just got it home and this is my first look over it to see what needs uh, repaired or refreshed or updated. Uh, first thing on the list is the steering box. Um, I don't know what the steering boxes came out of. Some of you older vintage guys might recognize it. Um, and of course it has a lot of slop in it. So that's gonna be first on the list to repair. Um, it sounded very dry and squeaky. Um, and I noticed the caps missing off the bottom, so I just screwed out the filler bung on the top and I've pumped in some thick black grease, graphite grease, and that uh, shouldn't run out the bottom. Skip is in absolutely wonderful condition. Not one dent or dinge. Beautiful. Um, it has a Petter PH1 single cylinder diesel engine fitted and uh, I'm going to attempt to start it now and give you guys a laugh. Um, I've taken the air filter housing off <coughs> I'll have to try and locate a new air filter for it or modify, modify a new one. But anyway, we'll uh, give it a swing see if we can get it to start. Rule number one is hold the starting handle with your thumb on the same side as your fingers. Never put your thumb around the starting handle because if the engine happens to backfire and kick back, it'll just break your thumb into smithereens. So keep your thumb on the same side as your fingers. The next thing is make sure and use the decompression lever. That allows you to spin the engine up fast before you release it to give it full compression and hopefully start. wasn't hoping, hoping to have that sort of drama for my YouTube. Um, yeah, as I'm sure you heard that. Didn't sound too bloody good. <sighs> for <laughs> sake. Um, that's what you get for revving it. I have had it running already. Uh, no problems. The engine wasn't cold. I wasn't revving a cold engine, so I have no idea what has just happened, but uh, did not sound good. Ah, oh, damn it.
ਚਲੋ ਚਲੋ ਬੈਜੋ ਬੈਜੋ ਚਲੋ absolutely fantastic little machine so yeah guys that's the latest toy it's a Muirhill Winget 2S with Lister or sorry Petter PH1 engine single cylinder diesel I think about 8 horsepower and as you can see it's in lovely condition guys uh, thanks for tuning in be sure to click subscribe if you want to see uh, if you want to find out what the problem was uh, give it a thumbs up if you uh, if you love old plant like me uh, thanks for tuning in stay safe till the next time catch you again cheers guys overnight <laughs>